So the goal of this channel guys is to help you get better at Call of Duty, and I can only do so much of that through tips and tricks. There's a lot of things like strategy that don't really fit into tips and tricks videos. So that's what I want to do in these videos here, is give you guys a sort of strategy guide to multiplayer, by basically taking gameplays and sort of breaking them down into what I was thinking while I was playing, so you guys can understand why I made some of the decisions I made, and why I made some of the mistakes I made so that we can learn from them. This is how I originally got better at Call of Duty, basically by just watching a lot of gameplay. So hopefully you guys can get the same thing out of that, and that's what I want to give you. So if you guys do enjoy the series, be sure to leave a like, and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of it. So getting into the gameplay, I run up the right side of the map here, and I get lucky, and this guy's shooting at my teammate, and he's not looking at me, and I get an easy kill. Then somebody else shoots me, and I manage to get behind this cover. And what I do here is I try to do something unexpected. So basically, when he saw me run past that cover and get behind that cover, he assumed that I was going to keep running away. You can tell because one, he stopped firing as you can hear, and two, when I popped back around the corner, he wasn't really ready for me and didn't start shooting. So I did something unexpected there, and as a result, I got a kill. So then I keep running past him, and I get to this side of the map, and just by looking at it, there's nobody on the right and there's nobody on the left. And I know behind this building that's right in front of me, that's the only place an enemy could be right now, is coming through that doorway. And because of that, I situate myself so that I'm behind that building so that if anyone does come through the doorway, they won't see me directly because that would be a long range engagement and I'm using an SMG here so that would be unfavorable. And sure enough, because I situate myself behind that, somebody comes around it on the right side and because it's a close range engagement and I was prepared, I was able to get a kill. And then moving on, I get to this sort of central area of the map here, that building where everybody likes to go in, you know, it's like the central area. And I see that not too many enemies have died and there hasn't been too much action going on. And I know a lot of my teammates haven't gone through that building, so I'm suspicious that there's an enemy in there. What I also noticed, though, is that a teammate is going to be going in that building anyway. So rather than put myself at risk, I let my teammate go in first. And sure enough, he finds somebody, and he is able to get the kill this time. But again, that just sort of puts me in a less risky position, and it lets me know if there's an enemy in there without having to go in there myself. And something important to note there is that he was using an unsilenced weapon. So that's why I didn't follow him through that building, because I knew he showed up on the minimap, and I'm using a suppressed gun, ghost, and hardwired, so I'm trying really hard to stay off the minimap. So if an enemy saw that he was shooting right there, they're going to be ready for someone to come in that direction. So as a result, I don't follow him, just because I don't want enemies to have that drop on me, and I instead go around. And when I go around, we can also hear my teammate shooting out of the window with an unsilenced weapon. So again, I want to try to stay away from him, because I'm trying to stay off the minimap. And if enemies know that there's a player in that direction, in looking for that player, they might accidentally find me instead if I'm too close to them. So I'm just trying to keep my distance. Skipping ahead a little, I see that there's enemies shooting in that central area of the map. And I also see that there's no teammates in that area. And because that enemy was shooting in the direction towards that exit of the building, I can assume that they're going to keep rushing out of that exit. So I keep going in that direction. And I also know that there's this piece of cover right on the edge of this wall here. So I post up on that and wait for a split second, and sure enough, someone comes out. And the benefit here is that I knew that cover was there, so that's why I was able to do that and put myself at a power position and get a kill as a result. And then instead of continuing to run in that direction, because I'm using an SMG, that whole area is kind of wide open, so it favors long-range engagements over short-range ones. And again, because I'm using an SMG and I'm not really prepared for long-range engagements, I just double back instead. And I managed to get a lucky kill here just by some enemy running up to this wall. So I keep running towards that side of the map. And I see an enemy just barely see his head poking over this wall. And I start to shoot at him. But what I realize is I'm at a huge disadvantage at this gunfight. Even though it is kind of close range, I can just barely see his head while he can see my entire body. So there's just not a good likelihood that I'll be able to kill him. I mean, maybe a few times out of 100 I'd be able to. But the majority of the time, just based on the circumstances of the gunfight, I probably won't win it. So as a result, I just run away from it. This is something I actually talked about in one of my previous videos. If you guys want more on that, there'll be a annotation on the screen here. And then I run into the central building and a very similar thing happens. I see someone at a medium to close range, but again, they're at a power position, only their head is showing. And this time too, I'm at a piece of cover as well, but my gun has a lot of kick. It's an SMG, specifically it's the FHR, and it's not really going to be that useful at that range, especially with all the recoil. So instead I just get down, get behind the cover, and wait a few seconds for him to keep shooting, think maybe he'll stop firing, and then I run out of the building. Then I post up again on the same side of the map where that enemy was before who was head glitching, and 
I slowly creep around just to see if he's still there. And if he is, I would run away. And if he's not, I would keep going on that side of the map. And sure enough, he's there. So I make the move to run away. So again, those are just three prime examples of having to know when you're at a disadvantage in a gunfight and thus that it's better to run away than to try to win it and commit to the gunfight. Next, I go back into that central building and I see my teammate die in front of me and based on the minimap, we can see where the enemy is. They must be down the stairs somewhere. And even though they're using SMG, this was not smart what I did here. I should not have gone around that corner and tried to engage him. That's for a couple reasons. One, just because he's using an SMG doesn't mean that I won't die. There could be other enemy players there as well because my teammates are on the bottom side of the map here. So I can assume that most of the enemies are on that top side and I might not just run into that one, there might be another. I'm also using an SMG and that whole area is built for medium to long range engagements. So that's definitely not a good idea for me to creep around that corner. Sure enough, I do and I get lucky this time, I don't die. But again, that's definitely a mistake that I made. And I see that guy right at the corner of my eye right as I run to that next wall and I assume that he's going to keep rushing me because that's what most people would do in this situation. They would keep rushing me so I just lay prone and wait for him to come but he makes a smart decision and just throws a grenade instead so I just get out of there. And then one final thing in this segment here, I go around this wall and I know that the only way an enemy can come is around the corner and that's because I'm playing the tactical TDM mode which doesn't have any boost jumping so I know an enemy can't come up on my upper left on top of that wall which they can in normal games so I just prepare for someone to come around that corner and I also crouch walk here just because in case someone is coming around that corner they won't be able to hear me and I'm able to get a kill here so maybe that helped maybe it didn't but again that's just part of what I was thinking in that situation so again I'm gonna skip ahead some and right here we're again we're in that central building and I clearly see an enemy on the minimap shooting in the central building and he managed to kill a teammate and what I was thinking in this moment was I assumed that the enemy was going to stay in that building and sort of keep aiming in that direction and thus it would make more sense to me to clear out the right side and then go to the left side and get the enemy just so I don't get killed from someone on the right side. But that was definitely not something I should have been thinking. That was the wrong way to look at it. I should have just been looking towards the left side and just been prepared for that enemy to bounce back around the corner. There's a couple reasons for this. One is that we can also see on the minimap that there are enemies, you know, farther towards that side of the map. So it's less likely that they're going to be on my right. And the other reason is that we know that there's an enemy on the left and we don't know that there's an enemy on the right. So the enemy on the left is more of a threat than any potential threat coming from the right side. So I should have dealt with that threat first and then worried about enemies coming from the right side because one, we don't know that there's any enemies there. And two, it's less likely for enemies to be there because we already see some towards the left side of the map. So I made a bad decision there and I ended up dying as a result. Skipping ahead again, I'm in the central building again and I see someone on that left side and I get a few bullets on them and they get behind the wall. And right now I'm at an advantage. I got more bullets on them than they got on me and I'm also using an SMG and even though they're behind the cover, I'm built for this kind of close quarters engagement, especially because I'm using an SMG and I'm also using Gung Ho. So I make the decision to challenge him here, which is the right decision to make but unfortunately it doesn't work out and he outplayed me and managed to kill me. In another part of this game, I see a grenade come out of the central building, so I'm 100% sure that there's an enemy in there. And I slowly creep around the corner and I find an enemy and I'm able to kill him. But what I do wrong here is I don't aim down the sights because I'm so sure that there's an enemy there. Why don't I pull up my sights so that I'm more prepared for a gunfight and I can save that time of not having to aim down sights. So that's a mistake that I made. I got lucky and I was still able to get the kill but that's something that I definitely did wrong. I should have been aiming down the sights as I crept around the corner. Fast forwarding to here, I get a few bullets on this enemy and he manages to get behind the wall. But the reason that I don't go after him is take a look at the minimap. All my teammates are to the right of me or sort of underneath me on the minimap. So I can be sure that all the enemies are to the left of me. So if I was to run after that enemy and try to get that last bullet on him to finish him off, there's a good chance I get shot by somebody on the left hiding behind you know, one of those trucks because that's probably where all the enemies are. So as a result, I don't rush after him. I just stay back behind this wall. And sure enough, someone does come out of that left side and I get lucky and caught him off guard. But again, that's just the whole point that we think that someone's going to be on the left just because that's a large area where my teammates aren't. And that's why I didn't rush after that other enemy. So just a few more clips here. I go back under this construction area and I'm again suspicious that there's enemies in the central building. So I start aiming down the sights and then moving around the corner, pre-aiming. 
Now I also hear a teammate who's in that top window start a call out before I see an enemy. And what's important again here, like I talked about in my call out tips video, it's not important what the call out is. It's just important that the teammate started to make the call out. And based on his line of sight and comparing that with my line of sight, there's only one small area where we know the enemy could be because the teammate has to see the enemy to make the call out and I haven't seen the enemy yet. So we can narrow it down to that very small area. And because I'm able to narrow it down quickly like that, I'm ready for that gunfight and I can get the kill on the guy. And then I go back around the corner and unfortunately I see an enemy right as I'm calling in a UAV. So all I do is I try to back up and lay prone and just start shooting at them and hope that I get them. I don't manage to, I end up dying, but that's all I could do in that situation. There was nothing really else I could do. This is the tactical TDM mode, so it's not like I could boost out of the way or anything. It's boots on the ground, so I just had to stay where I was. And I was calling in the UAV and there's no way to cancel that. So my best hope was just to make myself the smallest hitbox possible by laying prone and just trying my luck to see if I could get him. And one final thing I want to mention here, so I've been on this side of the map for a while, I've killed a few enemies coming out of this side, so I know that they're spawning in that direction. But what I also notice here is that, one, my teammate's warden gets a kill, and two, my teammate gets two kills, and he's looking at that direction where that red dot showed up on the minimap. So what we can tell from this is that, at this point, the spawns have probably flipped, because all four enemies died in a very short amount of time, and they all sort of died in that area where I thought they were spawning. So if they were spawning there, at this point, we can be pretty sure that because they got cleared out, the spawns flip. So that's why I make the decision to turn around and start facing the other direction. Luckily, I find this guy just sitting in the corner for some reason. That's just pure luck, but the point here is that we could predict the spawn flip because most of the enemies on that side all got cleared out within a very short amount of time. And usually when that happens, there is a spawn flip. So that's the important take home point there. So again, this video is already pretty long. We're not even halfway through this gameplay, but because it's already so long, I'm just gonna cut it off here. Let me know what you guys think about this kind of video down in the comments below. If looking through this sort of mindset I have when I play, why I make some of the decisions I make when I play, and some of the mistakes I make and how we can learn from them, if that kind of video helps you out, be sure to leave a like guys and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about this video, if it's helped you, how you think it could be improved, if I should keep doing this series, stuff like that. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. Hopefully you can improve your gameplay by a video like this. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button for more videos to help you get better at Call of Duty. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.